Hello guys and welcome to another short tutorial video where I'm going to show you how to use an ender porter. Now an ender porter is an ender portal stasis chamber which gets activated when you want to teleport long distances. This only works if the chunks that the redstone are in are loaded. So that means if you have a simulation distance of around 16 chunks, you can have, you have redstone lines lead up close to this amount of chunks. And for servers, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be set to the server render distance, which means you have to worry about that instead. Now, how does it work? Now, this is basically Ethos design with a little bit of tweaking so that it's a little bit more compact. If you want faster redstone wire, you can look up instant wire tutorials. But here we go. It does that, and it gives you an ender pearl. Then you throw it back in. Make sure not to get hit by it, because when it comes back up, it can hit you, and then you'll be teleported to the ender pearl location. It is a... It is a hitbox like that. But once you throw it down, you can do it again. And then once your ender pearl is again in stasis, you can just go ahead and go to wherever you are and just press it again. And you can teleport it. Get another ender pearl and move out of the way. Now you can make this you can make these redstone wire connections to all around your world or server. Uh, just make sure that the redstone can be loaded within the chunks that the server or your world provide. So how do we build it? Now all you need to do is run a redstone line that gets tripped up by this. So this will power this block and this repeater into a dispenser or a dropper with ender pearls in it facing towards the bubble column stream. Now it goes into this redstone torch which flicks off this trap door for one tick. Um, and then it goes into this which prevents the line from contacting more signal. And for the ender pearl stasis chamber, you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven blocks of upwards flowing water, just a bubble column used by Soul Sand as a dictator right here, um, in order to make sure that the ender pearl that you throw will not hit the bottom. Now, you, when you throw the ender pearl, you have to make sure that you're facing all the way down so that you don't uh, throw it at an angle and, it, and the ender pearl arcs in a parabola and hits the, um, any of the sides. That's going to be it for this little tutorial where we go over how to teleport across long distances with an ender pearl stasis chamber. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, good night, good life, and see you all in the next one. Bye bye.